Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tricia. For those that are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today, I want to share three Dollar Tree DIYs that are so easy to make and they look high end. Okay, here's the first one. For this project, I used three of these home decor signs that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Although this piece is nice by itself, what I want to do is get rid of the word home so since this is MDF, I am going to take my Japanese saw. You can use a hacksaw, which you can purchase from the Dollar Tree and just cut it off. Afterwards, I took it outside to a well-ventilated area and sprayed it with a gold metallic spray paint. I sprayed the sides, the front, the inside, and the back of it. Once the paint dried, I covered the front of the frames with painter's tape and I'm using frog tape. Then I painted the inside of it with a black paint. I found these magnolia leaves that I thought would be great for this project. So what I'm going to do is just straighten them out and then spray paint them with a gold metallic spray paint. Once the paint dried, I removed the painter's tape on the front of the frame, added hot glue to the center of each leaf, then placed it in the center of the frame. Once you finish, it should look like this. Okay, this time we're going to create a sculpture. So what I'm going to do is use this block to build the base and I found the center of it and I'm going to drill a hole. Next, I'm going to place this round dowel that's about six inches in height in the middle of the block. For the top of the sculpture, I'm going to use this welcome ring that I saw at the Dollar Tree. I got a bunch of these. Um, so here is the UPC and just in case you wanted to try to find it online. But what we're going to do is just take our wire cutters and I'm going to cut the welcome off of the ring. I'm also going to remove this section as well. I want to cut out a section of the ring, so I'm just marking where I want to cut it. It does not matter how wide it is, you just need to cut out a section of it. For this part of the project, you want to use wire cutters that are for hard wire. The reason why I cut out the section in the ring is because I wanted to add a couple of these beads in there. Off camera, I went ahead and sprayed the base of it with a black paint. And now we want to add hot glue to the top of the dowel. And I'm going to place the ring carefully on top. What I'm doing is waiting for the glue to harden. And then I'm going to proceed to add more. Um, what I'm going to do is just add it with the beads. So I put two beads in there and I'm going to kind of build the glue up around the bead. Once the ring is securely on top of the dowel, you can start adding beads to both sides. I wanted to mention the wider the section of wire you cut out, the less beads you would have to use. Once you get to the top, simply add hot glue on the ends of the wire and then place the bead on top. Off camera, I sprayed the top of it with a gold metallic spray paint and then this is how it turned out. For this project, I want to make something that, you know, where you can put anything like your keys or sunglasses. So what I'm going to use is the hinges of this small jewelry box that you can find at the Dollar Tree. For this storage box, I'm going to use two of these wooden trays. What I'm going to do is connect the two trays using the hinges from the smaller jewelry box. The hinges are pretty small, so here's the method that I use to screw them in. I took a pin and I made marks where the holes were on each side of the hinge. Then I took a screw. You could also use anything that's pointed, whatever you have on hand. And I just made holes right where I placed the dots. Then I placed one of the screws in the hinge and screwed it down. For this project, I highly recommend using the mini flathead that is offered at the Dollar Tree. Once I finished, I painted the box black and then what I did was mark a, 
the center point where I want to place a knob. You don't have to add a knob, but I ended up doing that. And I'm going to use a drill to make a hole. To kind of enhance the box, I took it outside to hydro dip it. And if you want to see that method, I will put the link at the top as well as in the description box. But I did that off camera. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the knob that I purchased from, I think, Target. But you can put any knob that you like. I mean, there's so many out there. Once I finished, it turned out like this. We tried the hydro dip method. This is how the box will turn out. But you could also paint it different colors, put stripes on it, you name it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all three of these projects. Let me know in the comment section below which one did you love and which one you're going to try. And until next time, have a great week.